All right, so I talked about this a little bit earlier, but the Baltimore Ravens get their weapon, man. One of the biggest issues that the Baltimore Ravens have had with Lamar Jackson or that fans have had with Lamar Jackson is that he just, for some reason, as a passer, he's kind of, you know, it's really his ability to throw the football, even though we all know he can't throw the football. It's throwing outside of the hashes because um, he's, he's a great thrower inside, but again, he hasn't really had the help. He still is developing as a passer, and Greg Roman has not really provided anything for Lamar Jackson or you could say John Harbaugh. Well, now that has happened. You have now got Rashad Bateman, a true outside receiver. Um, is he ready yet to? Is he going to be? Is he ready yet to be the number one guy for the Baltimore Ravens? I'm not entirely sure. I will say this, however, is that Lamar Jackson has had three years of success without a true number one receiver. So, so I think that the offense, Rashad Bateman is not going to have a lot of catches. He's not going to have a lot of receiving yards, but he can definitely create some dynamic play on the outside for Lamar Jackson to make plays because when the playoffs happen and when teams stop the run, when the Ravens have to throw the football, this is when Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens have a struggle with. So when that power, when that counter game, when that power game, when that doesn't work, you need to throw the football in the playoffs and teams are starting to get a little bit of a feel uh, to how to stop the Baltimore Ravens. So getting a dynamic player, I, I definitely felt like was a must. Rashad Bateman has, is one of the best players in this draft class when it comes to contested tough catches. It's phenomenal in and out of his breaks. He's not the quickest athlete. He's not the fastest athlete, but he's a phenomenal receiving threat. I know he played a little bit more in the slot last year, even, but he, again, he's a true big body outside receiver that really, really helps. And I think feel like the good thing is because of his size, he can also run a lot of those in a, a lot of the of of the routes inside of the hashes um, that can help Lamar Jackson. Uh, that can definitely help Lamar Jackson out because that's his biggest strength. Um, so excellent pick by the by the Baltimore Ravens. Um, I know some people say that they should have got Terrence Marshall, who can who who's a big body receiver that plays in the slot, but that provides explosiveness and speed. That also would have helped as well, especially because guess what? He's more he plays directly in the slot, so that is huge for the for the Baltimore Ravens if they would have got him. But Rashad Bateman, uh, more of an outside receiver, I love that pick as well. So finally providing help with Lamar Jackson with Rashad Bateman and Marquise Good oh, Marquise Good Marquise Brown. That's going to help out Lamar Jackson. Who knows? Maybe this pick, right, that pick right there, or this current pick can help the Boston Ravens maybe get over the hump and then become championship contenders.